Hi, my name's Chuck from the Bellamy Vineyard, and I'd like to welcome you here to find out exactly what we have at the vineyard and the kind of activities that we offer throughout the year. Thank you so much for coming, and let's follow me, and we're going to take a walk this way. These are camellias. They're japonicas. They're in the camellia family. They bloom in the wintertime, and they will bloom all the way through January and through most of February. Beautiful, brilliant colors. They have no aroma, but they're very beautiful. They still attract the insect activity, so we get bees will come around for the pollen and whatnot. Okay. On your right is the Carolina Bay. This is a small little elliptical depression in the earth that collects water. They're protected by our environmental regulations. It's a nice way to treat the waste without involving a lot of chemicals and toxins and whatnot. They do it naturally. We're standing under a symbol of the South, that's our live oaks. If you go to Brook Green Gardens, you'll see a wonderful collection of many of the live oaks that are in the area. That's a beautiful venue for folks to visit too, of all the flora that they have there. The Bellamy Vineyard was at one time through inheritances and the subdivisions, through other family members. We're down to the core of 40 acres that Vicki has left and it was a working farm. They raised their livestock, they grew their vegetables that they ate, and of course their cash crop back then was tobacco. Tobacco was predominant cash crop in the South. We now have moved out of tobacco many years ago into the vineyard business where we traded one vice for another. We went from tobacco for cigarettes to grapes for wine. And over here is the tobacco barn. The tobacco was brought to the barn after it was cropped in the fields, the big beautiful green leaves, tobacco leaves, were tied upside down by string on the stake. And when the stake was full, it was hung into the rafters of the tobacco barn. And when the barn was full, they closed up all of the openings and turned on the flues, the heaters, and about 12 to 14 days later, they had dried tobacco. This is a typical vineyard structure for cultivating grapevines. You've got in each row about 20 feet apart between the vines and they're held up by a wire that goes along the top of the post and the rows themselves are about 10 to 12 feet apart so you can get your equipment between the rows during the operating year. We have here about 220 vines which make up approximately one acre. The Bellamy Vineyard is not just about growing grapes to make wine. It's all about enjoying the outdoors, enjoying some music, and enjoying your companions in a relaxing environment. Enjoy your new friends that you'll make while you're out here.